very heroic if that's you recording yourself. It is. You look very heroic. We've got any shoes on? Well, even more heroic. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jack and I do all sorts of daft stuff with my camera. Evidently enough by this here video. Before we get started, I need to quickly rewind to five days ago and insert some clips of my first experience of walking barefoot outdoors. Play the clip! I am uh, in my bare feet today, but I'm just doing a little bit of training, I guess. Trying to get a little bit of first-hand experience doing it before I actually go ahead and give myself a challenge of doing something with a bit more focus. I've already had a few funny looks off people. It's already pretty weird. You know, even with shoes on, me running about with a camera in the woods. <laughs> me running around, running around with a camera in the woods with no shoes on. <laughs> it's even weirder. That is like standing on a bit of Lego. This is probably as bad as it would get, really, in terms of pain. The ball is well and truly moving. I'm in a field and I'm dodging thistles. Yeah, these thistles, they sting like a bitch when you stand on them. And I stood on a lot of them today. And sheep crop. It's nice to get some appreciation around here. It's not too bad. It's just large rocks set in the, uh, in the ground. Okay, cool. I was actually quite nervous at the beginning of this walk. A lot of unknowns had me unsure about what I was actually doing, and that came across in my delivery. I speak for like 10 minutes here, and I essentially only say one useful thing. Big flat rocks in floor make me happy. Oh, there's something really satisfying about standing in mud, squishing your feet. <laughs> nice. That's all's water over there, Glen Ridden just beneath us. I've well and truly set a pace and I'm out of breath. These rocks are nice. Nice and flat. They've got a good serving of little stones on, but they're not causing me any problems. Okay, so two guys catch me vlogging and I panic. I can't hear what they're saying because I'm sat next to a running stream and they're up a hill. Not knowing what to do, I decide to just put my foot in the air and hope for the best. It seemed to work, they disappeared afterwards. I'm just resting, uh, my feet are in the in a little beck, but uh, I'm enjoying it. Look where I am, I'll show you where I am. I'm just here next to this little, little fall, sat in the valley here. Bulls water down there. Oh, it's like really dry grass. It's really cushiony. Feet are doing perfectly fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with what we were given, eh? So I'm doing this for a charity called Mind, which is an organisation that promotes and helps people with their mental health issues. Tries to get them out of a, a dark place that they might be in. And you know, apart from a few lucky ones that haven't experienced any issues with mental health, probably the vast majority of you watching this video will experienced some negative thoughts. Inclu that's including myself. But uh, I come out into the hills to uh, clear my mind and get rid of my negative thoughts. And I've just been stuck on the thought of giving this a go, going up hell, vellum, barefoot. But I'd also heard of the challenge, Bear Your Soul, which is obviously the clues in the name, mental health and uh, barefoot. I decided to pair it up and uh, raise money. So if you feel like this is a worthy effort of climbing hell, vellum, barefoot, and you wanna uh, support a charity that does great things to uh, support people who have mental health issues and are just looking to reach out to get help before it's uh, well before it's too late frankly because that's the way mental health goes there'll be a donation link at the uh, the top of the description it'll be the first link in there so if you want to uh, donate through me support me support the charity i'd really appreciate absolutely anything any donation amount is is brilliant but of course you don't have to don't feel obliged to simply watching this video will also help out in some way as uh, any ad revenue that this generates uh, after 30 days of being uploaded i'll donate that to the uh, to the charity as well thank you for coming along with me today i'm going to carry on going i think i'm roughly halfway now 
So as we watch me walk off into the distance, I just wanted to quickly shout out the donations that I'd received so far. Friends, family and work colleagues have all been very generous. I genuinely set a goal of £500 just to get a progress bar. I didn't expect to be at 60% of that at the making of this video. It really does give you a good feeling when you have support like this, and this kind of money will certainly give people the help they deserve. So I'm trying to come out of my shell a little bit more and interact with the people around me. What I find difficult to do is to initiate a conversation with others. So I've been trying a new method by asking if someone can bring my camera back to me since they're walking past it anyway. I love talking with people in the mountains and this method just makes it that little bit easier for me to engage and just have a bit of banter with people. You guys coming up here? Yeah. Do you mind grabbing my camera please? Yeah. Can I be really cheeky and ask that? <laughs> I'm barefoot so it saves, it saves the soles a bit. There we go. It's when we nick it. Just run down the mountain. Oh, the camera was recording. It just picked up everything. No, I'm joking. He's a lovely guy. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. We're very much getting to the uh, to the more technical part of uh, Hellvellen now. Just walking above Red Tarn now. About to join on to Striding Edge. And I'm ready for it. We're on the start of Stride and Edge now. It sits 863 metres above sea level and is a grade one scramble. Today is a bank holiday and so there are lots of people on the ridge, which can cause queues at times. This just meant I had time for a bit of banter with folk. I've kind of calmed down a bit now, but when I start getting a bit too cocky, then it comes back again. It's the second time I've done it and uh, it, uh, yeah. That's a lot of fun, like. Yeah, it is. Brilliant. But I didn't go along the edge here the last time, so. The ridge was super busy, so I just had to get the camera set up amongst everyone, which I don't usually like doing, but I needed the footage for this video. People tend to get pretty weird around cameras, but this group were a lot of fun, and they also gave me a nickname, so... Oh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just found a nice camera. Nice, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Work it, baby. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Frodo. Come on. I was really struggling on the ridge at certain points, so to have this group to come up and have a laugh with me was definitely a morale boost. I just hope he doesn't mind me using the clip of him showing his moves. So this was definitely the hardest part for me. Up until this point, it had been a walk in the park. It turned into a full body workout. The ridge was really sharp and had slanted rocks. And also with it being so busy, my roots were limited. I was scaling some seriously gnarly stuff and my feet were taking a beating. My shoulders were aching from putting all my weight into them to try and save my feet the stress. It took me about an hour to get across the ridge where in boots I've previously done this in like 15 minutes. In this shot, you can see stride and edge behind me now. I'm at the last hurdle to summit Helvellyn. This was a brutal climb. Everything is slanted and I was concerned about people ahead of me dislodging rocks that would slide down and hit my feet. So I tried to stay off the main track, but that only made the climb harder. Although knowing I was doing this for a good cause, kept my spirits high. I honestly didn't mind. Whilst I was climbing, I had lots of cheers and lots of go on lad, you're nearly there, which took my thoughts away from my feet whilst I made my final ascent. Whilst I was walking towards the summit cairn, all I could hear were voices saying, look, he has no shoes on. I really didn't mind at this point. I'd achieved what I'd set out to do, summit hell Velen in barefoot to raise awareness for mental health. I stood at the summit cairn and had a conversation with a few different groups that were interested in what I was doing and they all shared stories with me of how either themselves or a family member had been affected from mental health issues. This topic really does draw people out of their comfort zones and I was surprised to be having such deep conversations with complete strangers at the top of a mountain without any shoes on. I must have looked completely mad but I hope my actions and my words have had a positive effect on the people I met today and the viewers of this video.